I would quit sugar if I could, because I know that I should, but I can't. Let's get right into models. Hello guys. I am Selin Sinalaikan. I'm an adjunct instructor of language education and twice published author with two more sequels on the way, which I'm currently working on. My aim with my channel is to help intermediate level students improve their English, as well as um, teachers to improve their teaching strategies and using various English terminology that helps them in the classroom. So if you like my channel, please give it a big thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel and hit that little bell button. It will help me tremendously. Okay, so another request um, I got for a video was on modals because they're very confusing and I'm aware because one modal could have multiple definitions just like many words in English where one word has multiple meanings same with modals for example, can and could could is the past tense of can for example, um, past tense of can for example, um, I could play the piano when I was younger, but now I can't. You see, it's right there, the piano. <laughs> now I'm trying to teach my daughter. I actually was able to play. Um, I could play when I was younger, but now I can't. I'm trying to learn again. Okay, okay, but that's another story. So, can is your ability or your capability right now, and could is what you could do, what you were able to do when you were younger or previously, etc. So that is the main definition of could, the past tense of can. But you could also use the model could as a question, right? It's a request, polite request. Could you open the window, please? Could you close the lights, please? Okay, so could you um, in request form is a request. But there is another one. So what, let's go back to the first sentence. I would, would is will, right? The past tense and also the possibility potential I would right if I had the desire I would quit sugar if I could if I had the ability but I can't right um, that means you can't do it right now so whenever you talk about potentials with if you use would could right I would um, travel the world if I one million dollars right things like that so we know we use could and would with potential situations with scenarios not real okay so we use models like that as well so could is used in those three ways and can is always the ability um, then comes may which is also so can you or can i or may i actually we don't we can't say may you we can only say may i um, so when a child goes to the bathroom or needs to go to the bathroom and asks his or her teacher, usually the question is, can I go to the bathroom or can I go to the restroom? But the teacher usually tends to correct the student as, may I, right? So may I go to the bathroom? Yes, you may. Um, or even if a student asks, can I go to the bathroom? The teacher usually um, here in the United States answers with, yes, you may. So may is permission, like may I? Yes, you may, um, but you never ask may you, right? So may is used with, with permission. Can is always ability. There's actually a joke that students used to do for me when I used to ask, can I go to the bathroom? They asked, I don't know, can you? Ha ha, like can you physically have the ability to go to the bathroom? That was a joke because can is always ability and may is permission. Um, the second one is they would say, oh, you're in Turkey, gobble, gobble whatever, so enough, enough childhood language learning trauma. So can is a um, ability, may is a request and, and also permission. Like, may I have one more please? Thank you. If you're eating dinner, you would like one more plate of something. So you, may I have more pasta please? Or may I have more coffee? You may hear some people still use can. Even Native Americans, you know, they usually say, they sometimes say in daily colloquial speech, they say, can I? Can I have another one please? That's not wrong, but it's just more preferable to use may. May I have another one? It's more preferable than can. Because remember, can is about the ability. Like, can you physically hold a cup and have another one? Versus may I have another one? Meaning, do I have permission, right? Um, in terms of getting another one. So may is preferable when you want to make a polite request as well as um, ask for permission. Finally, we have might. Right, so I may, I might, when you're deciding between things. So those are choices. Um, for example, hmm, what should, 
okay of course should is another popular one but i think a lot of you know should is what you should do it's more it's what you prefer to do what you know is the right thing to do so you can say uh i should choose a college major soon i might choose philosophy or i might choose i don't know business okay so might is making a decision between two um, majors but you know that you should choose a major this is for the college students usually by your sophomore year you should choose um, sort of a major so you may you can also use may in this regard see may has that second definition I may choose business or I might choose marketing whatever so may might you can use it when um, you're using it for decision making so let's wrap it up with should to make it a formal um let's touch on should formally should is what you sh what is preferable for you to do but it's not a hundred percent necessary a hundred percent necessary is always you must so you must not smoke here okay for example right somebody can tell you as a rule of a house or a building uh, or, or smoking is not allowed because you must not smoke a hundred percent you cannot do that you should not do that you must not do that must is a stronger version of should but sh nobody can will tell you, you shouldn't smoke here really because it should gives a little bit of a choice like you shouldn't smoke but you can if you like or you may if you like no if you want to 100 percent eliminate any possibility for somebody to do something you say you must okay like, i must go or i must not go or I must do this or I must not do that. That's 100%. Should is what you know is right. Like you shouldn't smoke because it's bad for you, right? But if you do, it's your choice, kind of. So should leaves a little bit of a room um, for choice, whereas must does not leave that room. Okay, guys, I would um, discuss more models if I could. I would if I could, but I shouldn't because my daughter needs me for lunch. Say, let's eat lunch. Let's eat lunch. <laughs>